And with this toning, I would project the coin to be, you know, uh, six, seven hundred dollars, seven hundred fifty dollars, just because, uh, you know, if you if there's a coin that's uh, hard to find in this grade with toning on top of it, um, it, it really does add that premium to the coin. Hey everybody, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be sharing uh, with you guys a lot of coins we're sending off the PCGS. Over $8,000 worth of declared value. Um, so, you guys are going to want to stick around. Watch until the end. A lot of great coins. We're going to give you perspectives on each one. Um, they all have a unique character. All have a unique path. So, uh, stay tuned and enjoy the video. Hey guys, just wanted to take some time and should break down all the coins that we have going out uh, to PCGS. Uh, a whole lot of nice coins that we've been saving for you guys to see. Uh, some of these you might recognize from a previous video, um, but that is okay. Um, I want to give you guys my personal insight on many of these, and I hope it uh, blesses you today, um, helps you learn something. Um, there's a lot of things uh, that we all are still trying to learn about grading, and I think the thing about it that sucks is that not a lot of people are telling us uh, you know what's wrong with their coins when they send them back to us they, they have something on the label but they don't really indicate an area or help you guys um, kind of find where that that spot is so you can look at it for next time but let's start off with showing you guys this uh, 1882 uh, I uh, project this grade to be MS64 to MS64 plus uh, MS64 um, MS64 Plus, uh, I think it's a pretty high amount. I think it's like three to five hundred dollars um, in those grades. And with this toning, I would project the coin to be, you know, uh, six, seven hundred dollars, seven hundred fifty dollars, just because, uh, you know, if you if there's a coin that's uh, hard to find in this grade with toning on top of it, um, it, it really does add that premium to the coin. You can really see um, a few kind of general scratches down here, and there's a light scuff on the face. And uh, there's also a little divot right here under the eye. Um, I still think it would have the eye appeal enough to be a 64, maybe 64 plus. Uh, but we'll have to see once all the chips fall. There is a light uh, fingerprint on there as well. Um, but just check out these greens and the reds and the yellows. Um, just a stunning coin. Found this one on eBay. Uh, fell in love with it at first sight. But uh, let me show you guys the next coin. This one you might have recognized from the Broken Arrow coin show. Uh, we've cracked this out of an ICG slab. And it almost has the same trend as the 1882O, um, but it is a little bit more flashier. Now this one was graded MS64 by ICG. I think it might have a shot at MS64 again, but there are a lot of chatter in the fields on the obverse. You kind of see that uh, following right here and a little bit on the face. Um, but it's really a vibrant coin. Um, but we'll, we'll actually just see how it goes um, at PCGS. Um, and most of these coins are going to be toned in this video. Uh, I'm sending uh, a lot of coins that I really love and um, really just need the true views to do them justice. Um, I think this one will be outstanding with the true view. But uh, let me show you guys, uh, switch something up for you guys here. We have this uh, 1963 um, Denver uh, Franklin Half Dollar. I thought this coin was a 66 all day long. I set this in one time, it came back a 65. So we're going to try it again and see what happens with it. It's not a full bell line. You can kind of see on the bottom set of bells that, that, that there wasn't a full strike there. But the luster is really nice. Um, there's a few hits on the bell, but uh, the obverse is extremely clean. Very nice coin. Um, if it does 66, I would project this coin to be around you know, 350, 300 bucks. Um, just really hard to get uh, a higher grade sometimes with PCGS, but we're going to see how it goes. Uh, sometimes they mess up on the first round, so uh, maybe the second round is the Redeemer. But uh, most of the time, grading is risky, and um, you're going to learn that if you ever start to send in a lot of coins. Um, most of the time, they do get it wrong. 
uh, or sometimes they get it wrong. I apologize, not every time, but sometimes they get it wrong. So sometimes you have to send it back in um, to kind of get uh, the perspective that you were looking for and the thing that you might think that you might know um, is correct. Uh, this is a 1963D uh, Roosevelt dime. Uh, I think it has a shot at full bands. And I also do think um, the color is very nice. I think it might have a shot at 67. Um, this coin was in a 66 no full bands holder. Uh, the color is very nice. Uh, it's a little dark on the face. But once again, the true view really is going to send this coin home. I can't wait to see how this coin comes back. Um, I think you guys will love it too. Um, it's going to make for a great PCGS return submission video. Uh, you guys are going to love it. Hopefully, uh, some of our grade projections uh, end up treating us well. Uh, sometimes it sucks, sometimes it's very good. Our last PCGS submission was very nice, um, but once again, we're going to try and see how that goes. Uh, this weekend, uh, we ended up buying this 1938. Uh, they claim it was a D over D, but we're going to see. It has this nice green and uh, kind of peachy toning, and then there's also this kind of purple toning on the neck. I've seen this color a little bit before with... Uh, with buffaloes, but I, uh, you know, I haven't really held one raw in hand. I like the obverse a little bit more, but people, or I'm sorry, I like the reverse a little bit more. But the obverse um, is kind of what takes the cake um, for most collectors. They want to see that obverse in the front. And I, once again, I think True Views are going to do this coin well. Um, it's a little bit hard to show you guys with the mylar. I'm um, just trying to keep these preserved uh, for PCGS. Um, and as you can see, you know, they're already prepped uh, for PCGS. You guys are going to see them when they come back but this is kind of the things that they want you to put in uh, the hole you can cut these out and put the line item in there just so they have it more organized when it arrives and it quickens up the process um, this is a 1971 Denver Ike dollar um, if this one grades what we want it to grade which is a mint state 67 uh, this coin uh, is very expensive I think it's you know thirteen fifteen hundred dollars in 67 there is this residue stain here which is a little bit disconcerting but once again I wanted to take a shot and see where it went and uh, I think this coin will do very well even if it's 66 pluses or uh, 67's like I said um, even if it does um, you know 66 and it ends up being a $50 coin uh, we just break even on it and that's okay too so uh, stunning example and uh, these coins aren't hard are pretty hard to find with minimal uh, dings on them, they're just they were just treated like crap back then, and uh, I can't wait to see what happens with it. But uh, up next is a 1916 uh, D. Uh, I grade this one an AG3. I think there's enough detail for it. We'll have to see when it comes back though. Um, but you know, it might come fair too. I think the reverse. Now that looking at it, I think the reverse might push it back to a fair too. But as you can see, that Denver's popping up there. But I think this one, like I said, might be a fair two, but I did get this one pretty affordable on eBay. And basically what I did was I looked at 1916D, uh, it popped up, and uh, it was like 350 bucks. so that's not too bad. Uh, if it comes back a fair two, you're making $150 profit, so that's something that you want to buy all day long. Uh, here is a coin that you guys might uh, like. Uh, my brother said, and he actually pulled this out of a special mint set. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a special mint set coin. I don't even know anything about it, but I was like, let's just let PCGS do their, their job. Um, if it comes back like a 67 special mint set, I don't even know if it is or not, like I said. But if it comes back that, I think it's like a two $300 coin, which is a little bit tougher to find. Uh, we bought this special mint set back at a, a few coin shows back in Waco. Um, and Casey wanted to see what would happen with it. And Casey's my brother, if you guys didn't know. But... I think this coin uh, will do well if it grades how uh, we want it to grade. I think there's one little touch on uh, on his little jacket, but uh, once again, a pretty flawless coin. A lot of these are the higher end type of stuff, um, and there's some also lower end type of stuff, but it has really nice toning like this 1937S. Uh, a few carbon spots on the coin, as you can see, there's little dots. Um, but this green actually is natural, I've seen it on a few coins. And getting true views on this coin uh, will really help its value. Um, it's, a, it's a stunning example. I think it might grade, you know, 62 or 63 if we're lucky. Um, but I literally like the color on it. 
it has like this green kind of, uh, I don't know, it, it, it's just very nice. I think that uh, PCGS will like it, and I think their, their photo uh, system will also do well with it. Uh, and I like offering tone coins all the time. I do offer a lot of Morgans and stuff that's more generic, but stuff like this uh, is one of a kind in my opinion. Uh, some people might disagree, but uh, that's on them. So uh, let me show you guys this next one. We actually bought this coin in the color at the Colorado show. Um, as you can see, there's that really nice pink and uh, green toning to it. Um, it's even hard to show you guys in person, but it was in this NGC slab, and uh, it was it was hiding the color a lot. And I think with PCGS, with having a more open uh, case, and then also getting the true views for it, um, it's going to really amplify uh, the coin and give it that little bit of boost to sell. And like I said, uh, when I posted this coin the first time, uh, it's very hard to uh, find toning with the, like this green and blue toning. I'm um, sorry, green and pink toning. But when you normally find toning on a V-nickel, it's like blue and it's orange. Not too appealing, but like I said, this coin uh, is different for me. I really do enjoy it, but... Uh, let me show you guys just a few more. This is uh, a 1939 uh, Jefferson nickel. And as you can see, uh, we actually found this in an ANX slab at the Colorado show. Um, it has a really nice rainbow band around it. Uh, I wanted to see what PCGS would do with it. Um, I'm sending most of these coins in for the color. Uh, this coin uh, is, is outstanding nonetheless. I can't wait to see uh, true views on this coin. Uh, I'm going to say that a lot during this video just because I'm very excited about this this set and this group because um, most of the time I really can't find very many, very many nice examples to send it in all at one time. But since we've been going to coin shows for so long, um, every single weekend, been driving the extra distance, uh, we end up finding a lot of nice coins like this one that just really stand out to us and will really stand out to our customers. So. Uh, let me show you guys just two more coins, give you guys a little bit of a perspective on where these are going, what's happening with them. As I mentioned uh, at, in the Virginia Show video, we actually bought this coin. Uh, it's, I think it's a lower grade MS, to be honest, uh, and it is naturally toned. I've seen many, many, many examples like this that are naturally toned. Um, I have a collector that said, hey, can you send this in for me? And he said yes, and so... Uh, Basically, I just added it to the submission, and we're going to see how this coin comes back. I think this coin, uh, you know, with its true views, um, and just having it in a holder will be very nice. Uh, the person that's buying this was born in 2000, so he's going to he's gonna really enjoy this addition to his set. I think he has a nice PCI toned coin, uh, toned ASC, and a few other things like that. But, uh, you know, nothing with this kind of caliber of toning. And, uh, yeah, I think it's going to do well. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this coin below. Last but not least, we'll be showing you guys this 1970 uh, Denver uh, Kennedy half dollar. Uh, we bought this one on eBay. I think it might have a questionable color uh, attribution that might be added to it. Um, it might not straight grade. But as you can see, this coin's almost flawless. You can, you can see it hit here. You can see it hit there. Um... And there's a few hits uh, right where his neckline is, but that's okay. Um, and on the reverse, it's very clean as well. I think if this coin goes MS66, uh, it's like a $300 coin. So that's something that we're being attentive of, and we're getting, uh, you know, trying to take a risk on it and see what happens. But most of the time with grading, that's what happens. It, it's very risky. It's very, uh, it takes a lot of time and energy and effort, but it really does add to. Uh, your variety as a coin dealer and also gives you more of a knowledge spectrum to follow so uh, there's a lot of great benefits to uh, sending in coins to graders but I will uh, let you guys go thank you for watching uh, this part of the video and let's roll it uh, to the outro hey guys I hope you enjoyed today's video I wanted to show you all the tone coins that we had uh, and what we were sending off uh, a few other cool coins in there as well uh, if you guys did enjoy the video please leave a like uh, comment if you're new, 
uh, and subscribe if you're new as well. We would like to see everybody that ha has joined the gang. Uh, it's been a crazy past few months, and uh, I can't wait to show you, share more videos with you guys. So have a great rest of your night, and I will see you next time.